Hello and welcome. This is TVC News. I am Veronica Dani Poy. The High Court judgment regarding the confirmation of Ibrahim Magu as chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, by the Senate seems to have raised more questions than answers. What now becomes of Magu? Is it against the law for him to continue in that position? How long can he continue to function in acting capacity? Joining us now to give an answer to these questions is a lawyer, Oladotun Hassan. Thank you for joining us. So, good afternoon. Well, the justice said the Senate is conferred with the authority to ensure only suitable and credible persons for appointment of office. Definitely. Now, with this judgment, what does this, uh, where does this leave Ibrahim Magu? And this statement seems to have an underlying tone of why the, the Senate is not seeming to confer, uh, confirm Magu. Well, uh, in a, in a trite uh, democratic principles, whereby we have the legislature, the executive, and the judiciary, the legislatures are meant to uh, act as a watch on the executive. And these are one of the key indicators of democracy and are uh, quite unfortunate that the the, the executive have been high-handed uh, in handling this issue. When These you say high-handed, how do you mean? Yes, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the Senate has rejected Magu's uh, nomination. The Senate has the honors to screen any nominee of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission. That is the basic principle, um, uh, the, the act. Uh, establishing the EFCC Act, but at the same time, the 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 the, the stiff resistance in respect to we know that there are a lot of other issues that are hanging in be, um, in between the lines between the executive and the, and the National Assembly in the recent times. There are a lot of cases that are bordering on 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 our financial improprieties on the, um, that are hanging on some so of the So are you saying that this is so not about the person of Magu or it's about the rift de between definitely, the executive? Definitely we have to read at the chemistry line of these issues itself. Rather also looking at the fact that the, the judgment so delivered, yes, is on the right path. We have to commend the, the, the judiciary for, for, for stating it rightly that the Senate has a power to screen. That is understandably. And I believe that having the Attorney General, having the Vice President, I'm so sure that the presidency ought to have been better, more informed. Magu is not the only excellent officer that we have in the EFCC. There should not be one man institution, which we've always carved EFCC around individuals. And by the time one individual is going, another one is coming in, we hardly understood the, the, the real tenets of their duties. But so then, there, 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 there might also be the, the reason why the presidency is insisting on this person, but because this is not the first time we are having a case like this. Yes, yes. Magu is an excellent officer. He has performed excellently well within the short time that he has been in office. He has, he has charged a lot of cases. He has been able to even go into the eyes of the, of the, of the DSA chiefs as he has confronted government officials and uh, at the expense of his official uh, 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 um, of his duty and you know not minding whose horse is God but at the same time while commending his, his uh, dexterity in that regard we must also understand the law is no respect of man if the Senate reject and you must also be mindful is non uh, uh, acceptability by the by the Senate has also created a lot of lacunas in other nominees of federal government appointees, whereby the, 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 the Magus appointment has stored a lot of other interests of governance for, for more than the required time. There is, a, there is always a seat of, of an acting capacity, not less than, less than six months. But as at now, whatever Magu is doing under the law is ultra virus, even any charges Magu is signing as EFCC chairman now can be termed as null and void. It can be a ground at the, at the, at the court that the, that the person instituting an action does not have the local standing. But because these are real issues we need to understand. It's not just the implication of Magu not being there. Let the presidency seek um, um, uh, within itself and seek the, the, the uh, wisdom in ensuring that let there be a new leave. Let them uh, 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 sort for a new 
um, good officers, not just within the police alone. There are great officers in, of this nation that can do similar jobs, not necessarily Magu. And if it is going to be Magu, the presidency should expect a, a further reprisal. And at the end of the day, it will tell a whole lot implication on our governance structure. And it will be a very huge, it will result in a lot of catastrophe. It can lead to the impeachment of Mr. President. It can do, be very more drastic. It can, you know, a lot How of so? things. Because the presidency insisting against the will of the, of, of, of the National Assembly. The president cannot act in, uh, 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 in isolation. Uh, yes, in isolation. The, the National Assembly has the power to summon Mr. President. The National Assembly does also have the same power to screen and having screened Magu. And they said it's not uh, 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 fit. And it has also been adduced by the, by the court. If the presidency fails to honor this, one, it will be a contempt of court for Magu to still remain in that capacity. It's a contempt of court. At the same time, on the, on the anti-corruption war itself, it's going to create a lot of rules. It's going to really attract a lot of issues that needless not to be, to be attended to. So the best we can do at this point in time is to ensure that there should be an harmonious relationship in settling this dispute. And with the earlier, the better. Let the National Assembly to um, tread cautiously. Let them not be too seen as trying to protect their ego, trying to see, because we, we, we had a scenario now. Immediately, Magu as, uh, was announced by the Senate as uh, maybe not fit. They are the, 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 the Justice Daladi Umar, who is handling the, the, the Senate president case. The, the, the same charges that have been hanging on his neck, now it now impugned another liability clause on the EFCC. What has the EFCC been doing before now? Is it because the, 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 the senators are now coming and they're here because um, maybe Daladi Umar was able to free the Senate president mm. of some of the charges? Mm. Now they are now coming after him as a repressor. These are kind of issues that, sm that spells a lot of doom for democracy because there is no sincerity or purpose. It's, it's, it, it will result to a taint on the democracy. Mm. It will result to a taint of the government itself. And for EFCC uh, 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 neutrality in handling cases, it will now make people see EFCC as an apron chair of the presidency, which ought right. not to be so. Thank you so much, lawyer Ola Dotun Hassan, for your contribution on much. the news.